Well, here we are again. Oh, and of course my little buddy's gonna come running over. Okay, yes, 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 and he's wet too. He ran out in my sprinklers. That uh, I have an irrigation system. I finally, I finally put back together. I went ahead and I had taken it apart because I made it so that I could uncouple it and couple the the main uh, valve on it. And I brought that in for the winter time because the first time when I first moved in this place, the the valve itself, the valve body was cracked. So I had to buy a new one. Then I bought a new one, put that one in, and that was in, and that one cracked during the winter time. Because it gets down sometimes, it'll get down to minus 15. So, yeah, for a desert, that's what it ends up being here. So, <clears throat> anyhow, I got that valve in, so everything's automatically being watered. I don't want to stand out there and water everything now. But, uh, and uh, then you guys. All you guys know my brother Ron, who's helped me in a lot of stuff here, uh, projects and stuff. And uh, well, he has a channel too, by the way. But he won't be on it for quite a while, for at least three months. Because he finally got off and made it back to his uh, uh, property in the Azores. He's on the island of Flores. And is uh, in the, the stone house he rebuilt that used to be my great-grandfather's house. My great-grandfather passed away in 1941. The house was vacant until my brother started working on it 18 years ago. And finally, two years ago, he finally had it completed. He started with a, it was a, only like one main standing wall and two partial ones. That was all there was, and then it was overgrown by jungle. Well, so now he goes back there after he's been gone like for nine months and <laughs> it's totally overgrown with weeds everywhere. Even the canal used to be clear that he cleared last time. It is choked full of weeds now. So he has to clear all that out and he made a water wheel, wheel back there where he has a sawmill he made which is actually a tourist attraction back there. And uh, so <sighs> and then I don't know how he can do this, but normally the flight takes 17 hours. This time here, it took him 48 hours to get back there because he had two layovers, one at 10 hours in Boston, and the other one was 21 hours on one of the other, the larger island that he had to land on. And then from there, you take another island flight over. Well, that one there was going to be delayed by like 21 hours. So, altogether, he was on layovers for 31 hours. So, it took him 48 hours to get there. He finally got there yesterday uh, morning around 9 o'clock. And uh, so, yeah, needless to say, he needed a, a good night's sleep. Otherwise, he says he wasn't going to function. As it was, he said he was fall Even then, he said he was falling asleep pulling weeds. Uh, today so anyhow he's back there I'm still here I don't even have a passport I don't travel anywhere unless I can go there by car that's it if I can't drive there or fly close I don't go anywhere anyhow I got this I'm always going ahead and looking for grab bag parts uh, on eBay yes something from eBay again it does say that doesn't it yeah uh, so <clears throat> I got this grab bag of parts, and I don't know if it's worth it or not, but it was advertised at $5.49, and then it was another two bucks shipping or something like that, so it was $7.49, but there's more than seven bucks worth of parts there, I can tell you that right now. Uh, let's see here, uh, wait a minute, let me see if I can bring the camera over, and I'm going to tilt down. Take a look that way. So, anyhow, it's a good bunch of parts. I mean, it's there's a good pot there, and there's diodes there. There's actually it's a 300 volt, 25 microfarad electrolytic. There's a oh, what's that one? Mm, no, that's 
Oh, that's only 50 bowls. So it's just, they're all over the place. I mean, there's just, they can be anything here. But, so, yeah, <clears throat> I think there's more than seven bucks worth of parts there. And, uh, so, I don't know. I think I made a fairly decent deal. Let's see if that'll focus. Yeah, okay. But, I mean, even these connectors, okay. That'll work. I'll be able to use those somewhere, I'm sure. And like this, yeah, that'll work. And then, of course, more resistors. I've got all kinds of resistors anyway. I, I bought those the Chinese grab bag full of parts for that as well, so I have a lot of those. Uh, when I say resistors, I have resistors. <laughs> I got all kinds of them. Uh, but I didn't want to get new stuff. The same as I did. Uh, anyone need any diodes? A whole sack full of them. And uh, then I also have these radial capacitors, these electrolytics. And those are all the different sizes. So, yeah. There are at least 400 volts. So. I go good for any any project at all. So, oh, and doggy, he's getting upset again. What's wrong, Chubby? So anyhow, <clears throat> oh, he's he's getting upset because I'm not talking to him. Let's see what we got here. I don't know what that is. Oh, the feed through. Okay, that's what that is. Dog. Oh, you even got an ice seat in there. Eh, probably a fifty or fifty. Cut it out, dog. What? What do you want? What? What are you doing? Where are you going, stupid? I don't know where he's going to, but I'm not going to follow him this time. Uh, you know what? I think I know what it is. 